Okay, I'm going to show you how to locate the CSS that controls text link color on your web page using a program called Firefox, um, or should I say Firebug. Fire, Firebug is an application, an add-on that you can um, use with uh, Firefox. Right, um, you'll see here that um, Brixum is a text link and at the moment it's red. Um, if we look um, at um, other links on my website, you'll notice that they're blue, including my um, Google AdSense. Now it makes sense that we keep, we have some consistency on our website and keep all uh, links the same color. So I want to change that from red to blue. Uh, the reason it's red is because of the um, template style I'm using. Um, it's default to that style. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, Firebug to locate um, where I need to go to change the CSS. So what we'll do is I've already got Firefox installed. I'm not going to show you how to install it. There's hundreds of videos that show you how to do that. So we'll open Firebug. Um, and at the moment it's uh, down here. You see it along here. And then we have a small window down here. That that part, that this portion shows you the CSS and this portion here, the HTML. So what we need to do is we need to click on this little element here, click it, uh, click it once, and then we need to go back and then we need to click on our link. The one that we want to inspect, we need to click that once as well. So we click that once and then if you look, we'll just go down to the bottom right hand corner and you'll now see that it's showing us exactly where the CSS that controls our text link is located. In this case, it's on the style9.css style sheet. Uh, remember, I've got nine styles on my uh, template, so I've got nine style sheets. So we need to go to style9.css. Now, the beauty with uh, Firebug is that you can actually preview, before you make any permanent changes, you can preview what things are going to look like after you've done it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change, I'm going to change it to the color that I want. And before I go and make changes to the, st the style sheet, I'm going to go and have a quick look and, uh, and have a quick look by doing this and see what it looks like. Now I've changed it and as you can see now, voila, it's changed to blue. That's what I want. I want, I want my links to be blue. Um, but this hasn't changed it permanently. It's only changed it for me on my computer now. To prove this, if I click refresh, you'll see that that text link goes back to red. Okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up the CSS portion of my Joomla website. And you'll see that all the style sheets are located here. Now the one I want is this one here, style nine. Click on edit. And if you look here, this is what we need to change. It told us, it told us exactly where we needed to go. Line seven on style nine dot CSS. And this is where we are. So we're here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Spot on. So we know we know this is the right the right um code we need to change. So I'll just put in what I need there. Get rid of those two nines. Then I'll click save. Then we'll go back to our website. And then it's still red at the moment, but we'll just click refresh. And you'll see that that will change to blue. There you go. And that's permanent on the, on the website now. So that really is how easy it is to use Firebug to locate the CSS that controls your the, the, the whole of your website. You know, Firebug can be a little bit daunting when you first look at it, but it really is a, a piece of cake to use. 
and I and, and if you are a, a web designer that um and you haven't used it yet then you really are uh, making life difficult for you for yourself I'm, i think there are probably other programs out there but this is by far the one of the easiest ones i've come across and uh, it's very easy to learn it doesn't only take you a few minutes if you've got a basic understanding of how things work css then you can learn this learn this very very quickly so there you go how to change the link color or how to locate the css that controls link colors on your website and I'm doing this on a Joomla website, by the way. I hope that helped.